Anything is better with ranch. Try it. It's a little dry, but the the pepper helps it out quite a bit too. Then you mm -hmm. taste the Italian dressing. Come on, what? It's great. Yeah! Oh, what up, y'all? And welcome back to another one. Oh, Freddy, set. Are you ready for today, huh? Are you gonna be a good boy? And are you gonna retrieve all them birds? I'm sure you will, buddy. Little heads up, Fred will be going to the trainer and staying with a trainer for probably up to a month at minimum. So just be expecting that video. All right, Freddy. Come on, buddy. Load up. Let's go. Load up. Get up there. Good boy, Frederico. That's a good boy. Well, we got all the pigeon decoys loaded up. What are you doing back there, buddy? Huh? How you doing? You got any room? He's good to go. That's a spot. Make sure our windows are open for old Freddy. And he's good to go. But before we get on the road, I want to show you guys something. The Ducks T-shirt of the month. Check that bad boy out. That there is the April T-shirt of the month. The Ducks T-shirt of the month. It's uh, for us guys that don't like to shop. Like me, I don't like to spend my money on clothes. So if I can just subscribe to a t-shirt of the month, just like this one, you get one every month in your mailbox. If I can subscribe to something like that, it saves me time and probably a lot of money because these bad boys are only $14.99 a piece for me going out, finding decent clothes to buy. I hate spending money on clothes. So there came a point in time when I needed some new casual shirts and that's the, these casual shirts, they're always casual. You can wear them anywhere. That's a good thing about the Ducks t-shirt of the month. You can wear them out to eat with your woman or you can wear them hunting if you want. There's nothing really goofy. They're all really nice. If you want to sign up for the Ducks t-shirt of the month, I will link it down in the description below. Well, we are pulling into the field and we got some rain last night. So I've been really, really weary about driving in, but it looks wet, but it's not. It's extremely, extremely packed solid. That's one thing, guys. Keep it, uh, keep it in your, in the back of your mind. You really have to, uh, for your sake, to keep uh, being able to hunt farmer's ground and not making him mad. Always check the field before you drive in. Now, if it's been dry and hasn't rained for a long time, that's fine. But in these situations, it rained last night. I have no idea how much. The top of it looked wet, but in reality, very solid. New field, <clears throat> like I said, new field though. This is a cut bean field. Here's old Jordan. Barefoot Crocs shorts. You better hope it don't get any colder cause son, you gonna be cold. It's supposed to get to 70 Yeah, today. I know, it's really nice already. <clears throat> it's beautiful out here. Mm -hmm. The Festiva looks good out here. Made it through. <laughs> I was like, it, no, why not? Oh, well we found our spot, here we are. Oh yeah, back her on up here, back her on up here. My wind tunnel. <laughs> Your wind tunnel. Uh, here we go, we're gonna take the A-frame. We're gonna sit in this little patch of grass. A lot of our pigeon hunting is just like our goose hunting. We find a little patch for the A-frame. I love using A-frames, they're comfortable. Especially when it's gonna get hot. I didn't wanna be on a lay down. Jordan's like, man, it's an awesome hide for a lay down. I'm like, do you remember last time we did a lay down blind hunt in the heat? Oh, come on, Fred. Oh, come on. Let's go, dude. Come on. There's a Freddy. Well, here is the spread. We're set up and ready to go. Almost. Um, I forgot the buckets. I was real busy this morning. Two five-gallon buckets. Your boy, your boy forgot. So, real quick, if you haven't subscribed to Jordan's channel, you need to. He's got a YouTube channel, and he does a lot of the same things I do. So, I will link him down below. Go check him out. Here's our sitting situation for today. Frederick's just loving this cold green grass, aren't you, bud? Oh, yeah. Well, I was a little smarter today, and I brought him some water. So, that'll be good for old Fred. The last time uh, we pigeon hunted, it was probably 65 degrees. Today, it's going to get well over 70, and he was panting for a while. So... I came a little more prepared. I, hey, I forgot the buckets. Jordan's going to get them. Uh, but I remembered Fred's water. That deserves a thumbs up, right? <laughs> but here's the spread. Kept it really tight today. Check it out. We got the old dive bomb pigeon silhouettes and everything else just strung out pretty tight. Uh, we got one flock of flicker, two flock of flickers, one mojo, and two, three mojos. So, a lot of motion, really tight spread, five dozen silhouettes, 
and pretty much five dozen full body pigeon decoys. So look, a lot of you, I one of the most asked questions I get on these pigeon hunts, Bobby, what brand of full body pigeon decoys are those? Guys, these are an old brand called Wing King. They don't make them anymore. Actually, nobody makes full body pigeon decoys anymore. You can't buy them anywhere. I have looked. There used to be two companies and pretty much two companies only. Nobody makes them anymore. No ones. The only ones that you can get pretty much that really do look really good are the dive bomb pigeon silhouettes. So, oh, but I've been waiting for this day. Check her out. Got the old shot cam on her. The old beauty, the SVE3. It has been the most requested video since I got this bad girl. Oh yeah. And we got the Carlson choke on the top. Car that is a Carlson cremator. Long range choke, full choke. I've been waiting to do it. I've been waiting to use her. Today is the day. Jeez, dude, are you thirsty already? Here you go. Look, Fred. Looky there. Oh, that's a happy Frederick. That's a good boy. Yeah. Earlier, are you ready, Frederick? First group on the left. They're a coming. The five are going to do it. Here we are. Oh, you're right. Hmm. First birds to the field are not loving it. That's for sure. They're loving the weather is what they're loving. Yeah, they're, yeah you're right. They, they want to fly. They're just cruising around. They made three laps on that field, and now they're on their second lap of this one. Today is like the first really, really nice day. Uh, we had a cold front come through, and it put a little layer of snow down. Huh. Welcome to Kansas. Oh, they're short stopping us. That's great. Let them, let them land, and then we'll just rake them. <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, ready, one, two, three, shoot them. Oh, this There you go. Fred! Dead bird! I bet you that one on the left wants to get back up. Well, Fred broke, and then I made him sit. Fred! Dead bird! Go, Fred. Good, Fred. Good boy. There we go. Now he's watch. He'll go back. He's gonna drop that one. Yep. He's shopping. That's why he's going to the trainer right there. Here. Let's go. He's shopping too much. I've been uh, hinting around about it. Fred's going to the trainer for a while. Here. Here. Fred. Here. Come on. Good boy. Heel. Heel. Sit. My bird. Fred. No band on the first one. Old Fred's loving life. It's a beautiful day out, but yes, Fred is going to the trainer. He's going to probably spend at minimum a month there. At minimum. We got to fix a couple things here, but we're going, uh, we're taking him to the trainer for good reasons. He needs it badly. Being off uh, just this long from the hunting season. Good. Sit. Sit. My bird. It's, uh, it's affected him, so we gotta sharpen him up before we got all these new clients in the lodge, you know what I mean? Dude, it's gonna be for your own good, man. It is. It won't be a bad deal. A lot of you been telling me, uh, Bob, get him in a trainer, especially in the off season, you know? Uh, during the season, it's hard to have, you, you can't have your dog in the trainer, so uh, we're gonna try to put him in there as long as we can, you know? Uh, the kids are going to hate Fred being gone for over a month at one time. I'm going to hate him being gone. You guys are. But uh, I figured, you know, we could at least do one dog training video a week where we go over there and we work with Charlie. Charlie's going to be his trainer. You'll meet him and, and everything else going with it. But it's good for old Frederick. Uh, it's time to get professional, man. We got We got people coming to hunt with you serious there's a lot of you guys coming i want them to perform well dude you need to stay right there man i am not kidding you you little stinker here we are a group of seven coming out flying looking going back hmm got a big group in front here boys and gals uh it's sitting right at 153 in the p.m uh finally got some big groups busting out here let's see if they want to play maybe maybe not <laughs> it's so it's a very odd day very nice day but the pigeons are are very are being very very greedy <laughs> oh is it three o'clock yet getting close but there's oh, here there's we go yep, yep yep here we go boys sit you know, pick up his on the way back. <laughs> you know like having troubles killing turkey or you know intriguing geese is one thing but pigeons boy howdy 
Boy, howdy. It's a rough life out here. Yep, a uh, double. Ready, smoke them. Oh, did you get them both? Gah! Oh, sorry to snake your one there, bud. Oh, Fred bothered me. I heard him break and I didn't like it. He's not doing so hot today. He is uh, antsy to get out of this blind. Look, he's shopping again. Here, dead bird. Here, heel. Set. Oh yeah, here we go. A little two pack action. Like Look it. at you sticking out the end. Oh, here we go, boys. Ready? Shoot him. Oh. There you go. There. Oh, behind him. comfortable with this finale Ooh, you might go down here Fred dead bird here Bob's got the new gun jitters. good yeah the new gun is not I'm not that's twice now that's twice now it's a new gun good Fred good boy good I think, sit I think I almost got a sit. double on that yeah you almost I doubled up bit, no band hey but we got a couple more to do it there we go Oh, well, two more down. Uh, or sorry, one more down. <laughs> I completely, completely whiffed. Um, I am going to start coming up with excuses real quick. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Explanation. Yeah, oh, that's what it is. It's not an excuse. Ah, this new gun. I guess, I like Jordan said, Bobby got the new gun jitters. It is, too. Bro, look at those. I don't know. They coming? Straight out in front of us, that big group. Ooh. Uh, I'm come not on. sure 90 if yards he, is a bit of a if, stretch. If he comes over right, oh yeah, right here, buddy. You ready? Yeah, hit him. Nada. His wing beat slowed down though. <laughs> Not cool. In school. Shoot him. Oh, one hey. down. Oh. Oh. I think you shot over the top of him. Did I? Mm -hmm. I thought he was going down for the count. I thought he was. He hit hard. Yeah, uh, we're having to take long pokes. At birds that are just coming to skim over the top and look man they're not giving it up uh it's a really nice day that's going to be my main excuse my second excuse is that i can't hit anything today and all right here two on the left two on the left oh look they did the same thing one's in the decoy <laughs> go oh my goodness oh it blew them off go down Oh, miss, miss, and miss. Did you did you hit yours? Oh, he's destroyed. Oh, good. Here, Fred. He poor guy. He landed in the decoys. I went for the high birds. Here, here, Fred. Set, set. Good, my bird. Yeah, you uh, destroyed him. We're not gonna put him on camera. No, he, 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 <laughs> yeah, I seen him land in the decoys. I'm like, that's your side. I'm going for these two. They're a little high, but yep, yep. New gun jitters yet again. That's what I'm gonna say. That's the excuse I'm gonna keep using. <laughs> Uh, that's about how I'm starting to feel. Getting ready to shed the old t-shirt and get some suntan on this winter white body. But uh, I'm going to say it's probably done. I mean, sadly, sadly but true, she's probably done. Think so? Not a lot's happening, not a lot has happened, so. Yeah, it's been a while. Been For it a to while. slow down from this point. I will say, though, Jordan shot probably 85% of the birds today. I can guarantee you that. I've been using a gun I've been using for years though too. Right, but I don't know, man. There was I did. It, I wasn't totally comfortable. I don't know what it was. Uh, I shot better with my 20 gauge. Uh, Fred, kind of honestly, I gotta be I gotta be very honest, has been on my nerves today. Uh, not being in the blind and hunting, Fred has acquired some already has acquired some real bad off-season antics. One is uh, shopping. He'll blaze out. Well, let's step back. 
Number one is braking. Uh, down right here where we're at, we're down in a hole. And so when he gets out there, Fred, go. Set, set, set. So see how high he is now? Nope. Oh, look, he's like, Dad, he don't want to do anything. He don't want to do anything wrong. Do you see you have birds coming? That's cool. Well, we are back home, and it is a gorgeous day. Lovely. Couldn't be any better out. I've been preparing the pigeon inside, firing up the George Foreman grill. I think that's what we're going to use today. I haven't cooked any wild game on the George Foreman, and I know that a lot of you guys out there, y'all have George Foreman grills at home. They're not expensive, very affordable grill. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm fitting to uh, cook some pigeon kebabs. Oh yeah. Oh no, oh no, sis. Hold on, get off. You got a flat tire. Knee. Oh, whoops. Oh, fix her up here. There you go, honey. Oh, thank you for your cat. Oh, hold her up. There we go. Well, here we go. This is what we got going on, y'all. So, I'm taking a bell pepper and a red onion. I'm gonna slice them up. And then, here is both of our pigeon breasts. All I'm gonna use today is just one pigeon. Just a personal little snack meal, a little lunch and snack. I'm gonna cut that up as well. Yes, sir, this is gonna be good. If you guys have never made kebabs, uh, maybe try to make them your first time with steak or something. Some good ribeyes are really good to cut up, season. And then make these little beauties. Uh, just, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I have marinated my pigeon in Italian dressing. Yes, Italian dressing. This right here, right there. Italian dressing, you can't go wrong with this stuff. I'm telling you right now. Italian dressing is a, Italian, Italian dressing is a game changer for meat. To marinate it for a day, half a day, whatever you want to do. I marinated mine for uh, probably right at, I would say a full day probably. But here we go. Here is the George Foreman. She is piping hot and, ooh, and ready. I'm hoping these bad boys will cook decent. Maybe. <laughs> oh, I better get a grease catcher down here, huh? Oh, it's already smelling good. Um, doesn't fit on there the best to be quite honest with you, but we're going to hope it cooks decent. Ooh, I'm kind of afraid that I might have to take them off the kebab to get the meat to cook good. I'm going to give it a little bit here and we're going to check it. it. Smells amazing. Italian dressing is awesome on meat. I'm telling you. Hmm. Dude, you can't just stick your fingers in the ranch. You got to use a pepper or a carrot, dude. You yeah, just, like me. Yeah, like Harper Lee. Watch. Mmm. We love our bell peppers, let me tell you. Mmm. Love them. Here we are. Here we are. Let's check her out. Now, it looks a little crispy. It's because we had to leave it on here for so long. And, um, that kebab, the peppers and all are so thick. So thick that... The lid doesn't close all the way on on the meat. So do you think it's going to work or am I just going to end up frying it, trying to cook it? A little I, worried. Yeah, I, that's what I was worried because I figured uh, if it didn't work, then we have to take the meat off and then cook it and then put mm. it back on. Then it wouldn't be a kebab, right? Right. Well, I don't care if it's burned or not. I'm eating pigeon, but the kids, they want hot dogs here. I asked them if they wanted it, and they're like, no, nah, no, we're good. Well, here we go. I had to burn the veggies just a little bit to get the meat completely cooked. But here we go. Are you guys ready to eat some pigeon? Oh, Bo, do you want to eat some pigeon? Ooh. Here we are, finished product. Like I said, burnt the veggies a little bit to try to get the meat done. But the way to eat these, take the, take your piece of meat, it's cooked. Put it in between like a little veggie, pigeon, Italian dressing sandwich. Oh well. Mm -hmm. 
You ready, ready to eat some? some? You want some, Bubba? <laughs> I don't know if I want some. <laughs> if I want some. <laughs> Mommy gonna try it? I'm good. I'm gonna. Oh, no, come on. It's you good. All mm. right. Let's see the kids eat it. What do you got there? You got pepper and a piece of pigeon. Sure this is your done? first time you're really ever gonna eat anything with me, you know, when I'm really about? telling you you have to. Hey, I ate the other stuff. You we can made. dip it in a little bit of ranch. Is it better? I don't know. Stop staring at it. You're Questionable just. Questionable color. Questionable color. It's done. I just ate it, dude. It's good. I'm gonna dip it. Bodie said he'll eat it. Anything's better with ranch. Try it. It's a little dry, but the the pepper helps it out quite a bit too. Then you mm -hmm. taste the Italian dressing. Come on, what? It's great. It's great. With my mouth watering. <laughs> All right, Bubba. Here you go. Want a little piece of pigeon? Grab it. Here you go. You gonna dip eat it in it? some ranch. Dip it in some ranch. Dip it. Dip it in your puddle. Oh, there you go. Taste it. Hey! You little stinker just threw it over the table. <laughs> they see mom's reaction and they're like, no way. Daddy, I, I eat a lot of different stuff, you know. I'm, You're gonna try that's it? That's just me. There you go. Daddy, you did it. Well, is it in there? Mm -hmm. Let me see it. Oh, there you go. Ooh, is it good? Chew it up. Chew it up. It's like beef jerky, bub. Yeah, it tastes like beef, like Italian beef jerky. You like it? Ooh, Always yeah. good to go now. He's chopping. Bodie's in. Bodie's in for the win. Well, we're out here out in the lodge. What is going to become the lodge? Yes, it still looks the same since you guys seen it last, but just know that I have whole new plans for the entire lodge. If you guys want to see an update video, basically an entire video of me explaining all of the new plans. There's a ton of new plans. Drop a comment down below. And even if I don't do a video telling you the new plans, be expecting the lodge building videos coming very, very soon. Uh, I think we're supposed to start construction probably first or a little after. So it's almost here. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you for always giving me your video ideas. And like always, just thank you guys for being here. Honestly, thank you guys for subscribing. If you haven't, you need to, because we're coming at you guys with three to four videos every single week. And huge shout out to my notification gang. Y'all are amazing. Every time I upload, right in the first minute, it's like it's like a game with me. I'm like, how many clicks? How many, how many people on the notification squad are gonna click that notification within the first minute? I love it. So thank you all so much, but be expecting some great videos coming y'all's way. Until next time. Peace. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that. I don't need your criticism, pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Got a girl that keeps it real.